Hey, it's Paul. Welcome back. YNR update. Um, I'm going to jump right into things. First of all, uh, if you've seen my other update, you've seen that I've talked about Stitch and Abby, as you guys call them, Stabby. What an awful pairing. I hate it. We first, we see them in bed, and it is so awkward. Enough said. I don't want to even jump into it. It's, it's, ugh. Um, and then we see Jack. And uh, we see Jack and Ashley, and it's uncomfortable because, I mean, she's hanging in there. He doesn't really want her around. He doesn't want anyone that knows Jack really well poking into it, so he's trying to coax her into quitting. But Victor, the Dark Knight, shows up, and he uh, urges him away from that and tells Ashley that she's an asset and more than welcome. And Ashley's, Ashley's dug her heels in, and she's not leaving. Um, Victor does tell them to play nice, and he brings them into... Uh, Ashley's office and he shows them a new logo now. This is the Abbott Newman banner and there's a new logo for it. So, I mean, all of it is cringeworthy, but Ashley is. She's a trooper. She's hanging in there. Uh, and then he tells her that she's going to be working for Victoria, which is just another stab in the heart, but Ashley still takes it with a grain of salt. Uh, you can tell Victor is channeling his inner Darth Vader and it is super, super oppressive and creepy. And then we know that because we've come to know that with Victor, but then we see, God, Vicky channeling the, the inner Darth Vader as well. She looks like she has drank the Kool-Aid and she's on board with the whole thing. And we see a whole new character. In fact, she kind of has no feeling and she's all business and it's, it's kind of gross to see. And uh, then Victor, we, we see him warning fake Jack against making any sudden moves, any moves without him. and. Uh, we think he's got him in line, but uh, this is all a party for Fig Jack, and he looks like he just wants to have fun with it. Uh, <laughs> and we see Vicky kick Ashley out of her office. I mean, like, this girl hasn't taken enough already. And Ashley takes it like a champ. She says, all right, it's yours. And then she says, can I decorate my, you know, can I decorate it with my own things? And she says, do whatever you want. It's your office. Then we see another awkward situation because Stitch arrives with Abby and then they find out that Vicky is their boss and this is just awful. It looks awkward because Ashley's the one that they talk to and she knows what's going on. She can see the glow or the fake glow on both their faces. I mean, I didn't, I didn't see any glow. I just see a weird situation. Um, and, you know, Stitch, you can tell he's spooked because at one point he's in the room with, yeah, he's in a room with three people that he was sleeping with in the, you know, in the recent past. And uh, it's just a little bit too much. So you can tell he is definitely weighing his option. Um, and then Vicky reads Stitch the Riot Act. I mean, she can tell uh, apparently that they've been together and, uh, you know, she gives him crap for sleeping with her sister, uh, if she only knew about her sister's mom. But uh, then Ashley grills Abby about Stitch and I mean, this is just, they're just chasing this ball around and around, and it's kind of gross. And then Abby goes to, goes in to see Vicky, and Vicky says, yes, we're sisters, and I love you, but this is all business, and you gotta show up on time, and all this stupid stuff, and it's, you know, we're just seeing Vic, Vicky channeling Victor, and it's, it's, you know, it's ugly. Uh, and then, Ashley, you know, does the typical mom thing, and she warns Stitch about hurting her daughter, um, gee, why? It's such a weird position because she slept with him, she knows what he's capable of. Of course, he, you know he's going to hurt your daughter. He slept with you. He slept with your daughter's sister. I mean, this is just, okay, we're going to see how far we can push this before it, uh, it blows up. And uh, she tells him he can quit if he wants to, but he refuses to do that. Then we see Kyle and Phyllis, and Kyle asks Phyllis if, you know, if they were right about Jack, if all these things are true, and she says, she kind of has questions about it too. She tells him that she smelled booze on Jack's breath. Um, and that makes both of them worried. But she tells him that Jack has an end game and that she trusts him. So Kyle is a little more assured, although he thinks obviously the fact that he's drinking is ridiculous, that there's no way his dad would ever do that. Uh, and then we see Billy show up and he basically pitches mutiny to the two of them. And they, uh, they both stand by Jack and they don't go for it. And then um, Jack and Victor show up at the AC and they look like bosom buddies. And it's so weird. You know, obviously Billy has a hard time with it and they sort of, you know, they go back and forth. And then Kyle takes his dad aside, and, or fake Jack aside, and asks him if he does have a plan 
you know, and this if this is all not what it seems, and and Jack goes along with it and says, yeah, he does have a plan to bring Victor down, and you know, he's got it's his son, he's going to go along with it. Uh, then we see Billy and Chelsea, and he asks Chelsea uh, where Gabe's gone. Chelsea says she tried to call Gabe, but uh, she doesn't know where he is, uh, and he won't answer his phone. And then Gloria shows up, and Gloria gives her a pep talk, and she says, you know, you're in this company, don't get pushed out, you're an asset. They need you, but don't trust these people. You're a fighter, you gotta get back to the part of you that's a fighter and hang in there, but don't let your guard down around these people. We see Chelsea and she goes to see Vicky and she's all pumped up after talking to Gloria. And she basically says, if you're planning to run me out of here, there are a lot of other places that will take me. But you know, she puts her on notice and Vicky says, no, you've got nothing to worry about. Even though we've had our personal problems in the past, you're secure here, we need you, you're an asset. And uh, it makes Chelsea feel a little bit better, but you can tell that she doesn't really trust Vicky. <laughs> and then Vicky looks out of her office and what does she see? I mean, she had just finished talking to her sister, you know, about how she handles herself in the office, and she talked to Stitch about handling himself around the office. She sees the two of them making up. So you know this is just going to make her heart even blacker, and she's going to go for blood. So it's going to be interesting. And then we see Victor and Fig Jack at the AC, and he tells them, that if he doesn't play ball, and if he doesn't stop pulling these shenanigans, he is going to end up right back in that Peruvian jail. Now this is the other thing I have a problem with. I mean, we're doing these repeats of, you know, storylines, and this one smacks a Billy because, don't you remember, he was in, I think, Thailand or whatever, Victor had him thrown in jail, and when he brought him back and he said, if you don't do what I tell you to, if you don't stay away from Vicky, I'm going to have you thrown back in that jail in Myanmar. That's where it was. Um, so we see that same type of thing, and in fact, he's actually using a real threatening tone with him. And the last thing we see is Ashley and Billy, and they're watching this exchange between the two of them. I don't know if they can hear it, but obviously they smell that something's up. And that's pretty much what she wrote for this episode. A lot of stuff going on, and a lot of stuff coming, and there's a lot of stuff I don't like. So tell me what you think, because I really want to know. The storyline is going a few ways, but some of them are really awkward. It's Paul, it's YNR Update. Keep following us, keep subscribing, and spread the word. Have a great day.